The Phong Cha Bridge once stood as a symbol of connection, linking communities in northern Vietnam. It was more than just a structure of steel and concrete. It was a lifeline for the people, facilitating trade, travel and daily commutes. The bridge was a testament to human ingenuity and resilience, a proud landmark that had withstood the test of time and elements for decades. Every day, hundreds of people crossed it, going about their lives unaware of the impending disaster that would soon change everything. On date of bridge collapse, it became a scene of unimaginable tragedy. The day started like any other, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The collapse was sudden and catastrophic, leaving no time for escape. Rescue teams rushed to the scene, battling against the clock to save lives and recover the injured. The aerial view of the collapsed bridge site revealed the extent of the devastation, a haunting image that would be etched in the memories of those who witnessed it. As Super Typhoon Yagi lashed the region with relentless fury, the bridge crumbled and gave way. The typhoon brought with it torrential rains and winds that reached unprecedented speeds, testing the limits of the bridge's structural integrity. Despite its robust design, the sheer force of nature proved too much to withstand. The collapse was inevitable, a tragic consequence of the typhoon's unyielding assault. The sight of the bridge succumbing to the elements was both terrifying and surreal, a stark reminder of nature's uncontrollable power. The collapse sent shockwaves through the region, a stark reminder of nature's raw power. The community was left in a state of shock and disbelief, struggling to come to terms with the loss of such an integral part of their lives. News coverage of the disaster spread quickly, drawing attention from around the world. Rescue operations continued tirelessly, with volunteers and professionals working side by side in a desperate bid to find survivors and provide aid to those affected. The human spirit shone through in these dark times as people came together to support one another. The once familiar structure was reduced to debris, swallowed by the raging floodwaters below. The remnants of the bridge lay scattered, a poignant reminder of what once was. The floodwaters, now a murky brown, carried away pieces of the bridge, dispersing them far and wide. The submerged structure was barely recognizable, a ghostly silhouette beneath the turbulent surface. The scene was one of utter devastation, a visual representation of the typhoon's destructive power. The bridge's demise served as a grim prelude to the devastation that Yagi would unleash upon Vietnam and beyond. The typhoon's path of destruction was wide and unforgiving, leaving a trail of ruined infrastructure and displaced communities in its wake. Aerial views of the affected areas showed the full extent of the damage, with entire neighborhoods submerged and countless homes destroyed. The aftermath of the typhoon was a humanitarian crisis, with thousands in need of immediate assistance. The tragedy of the Phong Cha Bridge was just one chapter in a much larger story of loss and resilience. Super Typhoon Yagi emerged as a monstrous storm, its path cutting a destructive swathe across the Western Pacific. With wind speeds exceeding insert highest recorded wind speed, Yagi earned its classification as a Super Typhoon, the highest level on the scale. Originating in the open ocean, Yagi gathered strength as it churned westward. Its trajectory took it through the Philippines and towards southern China, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. The human cost of Super Typhoon Yagi is immeasurable across Vietnam and China. The storm claimed the lives of insert estimated number of fatalities. Countless others suffered injuries, some life-altering. The stories of those affected are heartbreaking. Families were torn apart, homes reduced to rubble, and livelihoods washed away. Survivors recounted harrowing tales of escape and the struggle to stay afloat amidst the raging floodwaters. The search for missing individuals continues, a grim reminder of the storm's devastating impact. Northern Vietnam bore the brunt of Yagi's fury. The region, known for its mountainous terrain and river valleys, was particularly vulnerable to the typhoon's wrath. The collapse of the Phong Cha Bridge served as a tragic symbol of the widespread destruction. Floodwaters inundated entire villages, submerging homes and businesses. Landslides swept down mountainsides, burying roads and cutting off access to remote communities. The once familiar landscape was scarred and reshaped by the storm's power. Section 5. Race Against Time Search and Rescue Efforts In the aftermath of the disaster, a desperate race against time unfolded. 
Rescue workers from Vietnam and neighboring countries mobilized to reach those stranded by the floods and landslides. Boats became lifelines, navigating treacherous waters to evacuate survivors from rooftops and isolated areas. Medical teams worked tirelessly to provide aid to the injured. The search for missing individuals continued day and night, fueled by hope and a determination to bring closure to grieving families. Section 6. Rebuilding Connections, Temporary Solutions and Long-Term Plans. With the Phong Chau Bridge reduced to rubble, restoring connectivity became an immediate priority. Vietnamese authorities swiftly deployed engineers and construction crews to establish a temporary pontoon bridge. This vital link aimed to restore access to isolated communities and facilitate the flow of aid and supplies. While the pontoon bridge provided a temporary solution, plans for a permanent replacement were already underway, a testament to the resilience of the Vietnamese people. Section 7, Yagi's Trail of Destruction Impact Beyond Vietnam. Before reaching Vietnam, Super Typhoon Yagi left its mark on other parts of East Asia. In southern China, the storm made landfall with destructive force, causing casualties and widespread damage. Coastal communities bore the brunt of the storm surge, while heavy rainfall triggered flooding and landslides inland. The Philippines, often in the path of typhoons, also experienced Yagi's power, enduring strong winds and heavy rainfall. Section 8. A Changing Climate Typhoons in a warming world, the increasing intensity of typhoons like Yagi has raised concerns about the impact of climate change. Scientists have long warned that rising global temperatures can lead to more frequent and severe extreme weather events. Warmer ocean waters provide more energy for typhoons, fueling their strength and increasing their potential for destruction. As the planet continues to warm, the threat posed by these powerful storms is likely to escalate, demanding greater preparedness and mitigation efforts. Section 9. Picking up the pieces. Government response and relief efforts. In the wake of Super Typhoon Yagi, governments in Vietnam and China mobilized resources to provide relief and support to affected communities. The scale of the disaster required a swift and coordinated response to address the immediate needs of those affected. Emergency shelters were established to house displaced individuals, offering them a safe haven amidst the chaos. These shelters provided not only a roof over their heads, but also a sense of security and community. Food, water, and other essential supplies were distributed to those in need. Volunteers worked tirelessly to ensure that everyone had access to basic necessities, often going above and beyond to reach remote areas. Medical supplies and personnel were dispatched to provide care to the injured and sick. Mobile clinics were set up to offer immediate medical attention, and efforts were made to prevent the outbreak of diseases in the crowded shelters. The long process of rebuilding damaged infrastructure began, with a focus on restoring essential services such as electricity, communication, and transportation. This phase of recovery was crucial for the return to normalcy and the economic stability of the affected regions. Technicians and engineers worked around the clock to repair power lines, communication towers, and roads. Their efforts were vital in reconnecting communities and ensuring that emergency services could operate effectively. International aid organizations also responded to the disaster, providing assistance and expertise. These global relief teams brought in additional resources and specialized knowledge, helping to bolster local efforts and ensure a comprehensive response to the crisis. Their presence underscored the importance of international solidarity in times of disaster. Section 10. Looking ahead, lessons learned and future preparedness. In this section, we delve into the critical insights gained from past experiences and how they shape our strategies for the future. The devastation caused by Super Typhoon Yagi serves as a stark reminder of the importance of disaster preparedness and climate change mitigation. The images of flooded streets and destroyed homes are not just scenes of the past, but warnings for the future. They highlight the urgent need for comprehensive planning and proactive measures. As the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events increase, governments and communities must prioritize measures to enhance resilience and minimize the impact of such disasters. This involves not only immediate response strategies, but also long-term planning. Community engagement and education are crucial, as informed citizens are better equipped to handle emergencies. This includes investing in early warning systems, 
strengthening infrastructure and ensuring that our buildings and bridges can withstand the forces of nature. Advanced weather monitoring systems can provide critical lead time, allowing for timely evacuations and preparations. Engineers and construction workers play a vital role in reinforcing our physical structures to endure extreme conditions. Promoting sustainable land use practices is equally important. Sustainable farming practices and reforestation efforts can help mitigate the effects of climate change. Urban planners must review and update land use maps to avoid high-risk areas and ensure that new developments are resilient to natural disasters. By heeding the lessons learned from Yagi, we can strive to create a safer and more resilient future in the face of a changing climate. Community rebuilding efforts, families securing their homes, and educational programs for children about climate change are all steps in the right direction. These actions, combined with strong leadership and international cooperation, can help us build a world that is better prepared for the challenges ahead.